Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This Sunday night, Cody Brown and the other members of the Sister Wives cast will return to TLC. Additionally, he says he doesn't listen to Robin, his sole surviving wife, in a recent promotional video. Those who have watched Sister Wives for a long time know it is completely untrue. However, how can the patriarch of the household defend his outrageous assertions? Get the inside scoop by reading on. According to Cody Brown, Robin is not heard by him. Mary will continue to discover her own voice as Sister Wives Season 19 progresses. Cody, meanwhile, keeps saying inappropriate things. Additionally, he seems to be acting almost like a bully. He doesn't feel as calm about our circumstances as I do. Mary acknowledges that some of the things her ex-husband says are truly, truly, truly hurtful. He obviously still needs to work on a lot of his internal feelings here, notwithstanding their unpleasant past together. Cody assures Mary that he genuinely likes her. He goes on, well, I didn't for six years at all. He disliked her for a lot longer than that, Mary tells him. The two then talk about the approaching holidays. Cody was informed by Robin that he should ask Mary over for Christmas, but she declined. I won't be coming to Christmas to hang out. I'm no longer your wife, Mary informs him firmly. Cody responded, normally, I just disregard her opinion, to which Mary refuted. After a brief argument, Mary shuts him off entirely. Let's face it, we're ex-partners. You don't have to be concerned about me. She said to him, I only wish you knew what a wonderful person I truly am. Mary Brown's personal development is admired by fans. One of the most divisive characters in the Sister Wives fandom is still Mary Brown. Still, a lot of admirers are impressed by her ongoing development. Even on Christmas, she has made it clear that she will not be Cody and Robin's third wheel. One spectator commented on Reddit, wow the amount of growth Mary and Gabe have shown. It's evident that Gabe has had extensive therapy and put in a great deal of effort. You can see how far he has come and how much he has grown. As I listened to him speak, I started crying. I'm really happy for him. And Mary, wow, I'm amazed by how resentful and furious Cody and Robin are, especially in contrast to the tranquility that so many others have achieved. Tells it all. How do you feel about the previews depiction of Mary and Cody Brown's conversation? Post your own ideas in the comments section. To keep up with the most recent Sister Wives news, follow TV shows Ace Online. Watch the new episode on TLC this Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We believed we had seen everything after watching Sister Wives for 14 years and 19 seasons. Then Mary Brown appears with this strange tale about how she breastfed one of Cody Brown's children from a previous marriage. It's only the newest, perhaps perplexing phenomenon in the crazy world of TLC polygamy. In a recent episode of the long-running TLC program, Mary made the shocking admission that she breastfeeds. There was a notion that sister women in the church would sit around and breastfeed and swap kids around, a producer informed Christine Brown. It sounds like they're just throwing babies around like a hot potato, but Christine says that's not the case. She referred to it as nasty and said it was a joke, but what about Mary? She saw things a little differently. Mary disclosed, I actually breastfed one of our kids that wasn't my own child. She went on. At the time, that was something that was somewhat medically required, but we didn't do it frequently for enjoyment or just to laugh. The other ladies appeared to concur that swapping was a normal part of their lives, but Mary didn't go into great detail about which of her previous sister wives she filled in for. Christine must have missed the memo. Robin Brown went on to say that nursing other people's babies was simply part of the culture. She said she had witnessed it many times and would not pay attention to it. Janelle Brown, meanwhile, had the same sentiment. She claimed that if she could have, she would have assisted with the milking. I've never given birth to another child. She said, I never had enough milk. It would have been difficult for me to do that. Fans of Sister Wives have observed how Cody Brown, the patriarch of the Brown family, gradually transformed from the silly family man we first encountered in season 1 to the irate reality TV personality we are currently witnessing in season 19. Although Cody's transformation since season 1 is frequently noted by fans on social media, his daughter Michael T. and son-in-law Tony Padrone recently addressed the subject in a live stream on their YouTube channel. Recalling how her father used to treat her and her siblings, many of whom Cody is now estranged from, 
Michael T. became tearful throughout the webcast. She also disclosed that, in her view, Cody's demeanor was permanently and negatively altered by the celebrity he received from being on Sister Wives. I believe that the show changed his personality but I think there were always aspects of him that were like this, Michael T. said. That's what fame does to people. Simply changes you. It also alters you to have to cope with your flaws on TV, being constantly pointed out to you for 14 years. He wasn't like this before the show, thus I believe it significantly altered him. His attitude was much more like, I know what I did wrong. Michael T. said, that was my dad. I would like to do better. The show has changed him. Michael T. broke down in tears during the live stream of last week's Sister Wives episode, saying that it's hard to watch her father behave the way he does now, not attempting to mend the relationships with his children or owning up to his mistakes. Was this how he was all the time? I don't believe so, Tony remarked. He wasn't like this years before, as you can see from early Sister Wives episodes. Seeing that Cody Brown is difficult for me because I don't recognize that Cody Brown, Michael T. remarked. I wasn't raised with that Cody Brown. My dad is not Cody Brown. That Cody Brown is, Cody Brown from Sister Wives. I don't understand him, therefore it's difficult to see him have those debates, confrontations and conversations. Earlier in the live stream, Michael T. shared her experiences growing up with Cody as a parent and explained why she believes he finds it difficult to connect with his grown children. She remarked, It's difficult to remember my dad as he was when we were younger. He was deeply involved in our lives before we were old enough to make our own decisions. We were aware that it was difficult to provide each of us with specialized care, even in those days, simply due to the large number of children. We were aware of how difficult it was and dad put in a lot of labor. He traveled frequently for work because he was in sales. As children of the original three wives, we realized early on that we had to make concessions when we had our dad time, Michael T. continued. Michael T. went on to say, we did things kind of how he wanted to, that's how we did things. She and her siblings would frequently watch Cody's favorite movies together, as a group to spend more time with their father. According to Michael T., Cody was content since he and his children were spending time together and doing things that he enjoyed. But as they grew older, Cody didn't want to switch to activities that each of his children enjoyed. And it got harder and harder for dad to have this ability to bond with us as much as we got older, and we got more identity underneath us and more opinionated underneath us because we all wanted to do our own things and bring him into our world, not just be brought into his, she said. I believe that's actually where a portion of the separation occurred. Dad wasn't accustomed to it, and he didn't know how to enter each of his children's worlds, in part because there were so many of them. He was so used to bringing us into his world, and us doing all the things he liked to do. Michael T., one of Cody's only friends among his adult children, also criticized her father for not accepting responsibility for his actions and remarks that have harmed his children. I believe that his children, possibly not all of them but at least some of them, would reach out if he took more responsibility for any of his actions, Michael T. said. He might just say, look, I acknowledge I did blank wrong, rather than blaming the kids, the parents, the gossip, or their feelings about his connection with his other wife. I apologize. Can we discuss it? Michael T. went on. That seems like it would make a big difference. Unquestionably, fans can easily uncover hidden gems when they watch Old Sister Wives film again. It's almost funny to observe warning signals because Cody Brown has been on television for more than 18 seasons. Even though a lot of fans already believe that Cody, the patriarch of Sister Wives, is a chump, hearing him admit that is rather eye-opening. Cody Brown has always been idiotic. Supporters have seen Cody Brown transform from a cheerful father and husband to four wives to the patronizing jerk he is now. Without a question, Sister Wives seasons 1 to 19 are an emotional ride on television. For some viewers, Cody has gotten unbearable over the last few seasons. He began to dig his heels in, refusing to accept accountability for his deeds and to work out problems. Rather, he was frequently merely assigning blame. Fans started to perceive him as a narcissist who was collaborating with Robin Brown after that. She seemed to provide him with all the compliments he required to support her idea. Unfortunately, that caused him to disregard the other family members' needs, which ultimately caused the Polly family to fall apart. However, viewers have gathered hints from earlier episodes that helped them realize he was a fool all along. Cody Brown identifies as a chump, 
One fan created a carousel of Sister Wives series treasures on Reddit. One user writes in a feed the truths. They then provide a number of screenshots of Cody Brown and his family from Part 1, revealing some startling facts about the show. The user displays Cody Brown acknowledging that he is a chump in the first screen capture. I guess I could be less of a chump and more of a man. He said in response to Christine Brown's criticism, Cody was thrilled to choose Robin's wedding gown during the scene. Regretfully, he didn't anticipate his other spouses, who were thrilled by his joyful announcement, would be so hurt. He vows to be the better man they know he can be as Christine chastises him for his transgression. It was, nevertheless, a precursory warning sign for the plural marriage's demise. Fans talk about his admittance that he was chump. Several Sister Wives fans talked about Christine Brown Woolley teaching Cody Brown to treat his wives with greater respect on TikTok. She seemed to be speaking to him like a child and dumbing it down. Robin wanted to be everything Christine was, and she did whatever it took to get it. A Sister Wives fan writes on TikTok. Just a chump come find out. Christine moved on to a better life, and he stayed a chump party popper wine glass confetti ball grinnings. He has no idea how to behave like a man. He acts like a two-year-old when he throws tantrums. Ugh. I detest these old scenes, someone another comments. We were shown everything we needed to see by Cody and Robin. The person also used the big guns in the Reddit post. They also point to several additional mic drops, even though Cody Brown's admission that he is a chump was a perfect reflection. They criticized Cody for his absence and took some strangely close-up pictures of Robin and Logan Brown. Similarly, a screenshot demonstrates Robin's tears, which are thought to be typical. One truth also reveals how their culture is characterized by constant terror. It also makes multiple allusions to bad financial choices. In one, they acknowledge that my sister wife's closet wasn't doing well. In other pictures, Janelle is seen discussing how she makes more money than the others. In addition to pointing out that he made several serious errors, Cody claims he wasn't measuring up. The user also offers more doozies, but mostly they were demonstrating that there were several warning signs even in the early years. Janelle Brown's comment, it's brain damage to move this group, was adored by one fan. Other admirers comment, oh my. These truth and lies posts are far too entertaining for me. Cody's face in picture 3 is frightful. He believed that it was at his expense, thus he detested it when his spouses got along. Robin was pleased because she was usually the one who benefited from the wives' strife, which he undoubtedly caused. What do you think about Cody Brown confessing that he is a chump in season 1 before any of the real problems surfaced? Do you believe Christine Brown's confrontational tone with him was appropriate? Does Sister Wives Season 19 appeal to you? Please leave a remark below. The Sister Spouses Tribe's move to Flagstaff, Arizona, has proven to be a financial disaster, as fans are aware. Cody Brown has not been shy about admitting that he and his four spouses have been struggling financially, and it appears that Cody is considering a bailout scheme. In an attempt to obtain a mark on some reports, Cody recently interrupted Mary Brown's Lularo webcast by jumping in. Astute fans have been wondering if Cody's visit was a random drop-in or a carefully planned showcase maneuver meant to attract Mary's sizable audience. Check out sister spouses Cody Brown and Mary, who are secret lovers and still share a bed. In 2016, Mary Brown signed on as a Lularo representative. Christine Brown, Cody Earthy's third wife, later followed suit and now represents the clothing line. Mary's private Lularo Facebook group boasts nearly 100,000 fans. Mary left her Lula base hanging as she conducted the errand, leaving her clients shocked when she abandoned her attempt to close the transaction to duplicate the documents for her allegedly distant spouse. But what really sparked a commotion among watchful followers was the strange connection that ensued. Cody Brown complained nonchalantly that he was having trouble sleeping, and that it was hard to relax because of his worry. Mary interrupted, mentioning that Cody's worries might be alleviated by CBD oil. They talked for a while about the natural enlargement, but the husband-slash-wife conversation appeared for a shorter period of time than usual. Do you think Mary Brown and Cody Brown planned a pre-send-off for an item? Currently, the earthy-colored family is preparing for the upcoming Sister Spouses movie. The clasp included a montage of images of Janelle throwing a hatchet at a girl's night out near her home in Flagstaff, Arizona. In each picture, the 53-year-old was seen in her natural state, revealing all on the hardwood platform. 
When she finally got the hatchet to stick to the board, she smiled and raised her arms in a fervent manner. Regarding her answer, Janelle joked, Me when I finally get a hatchet to stick. Insert bullseye emoji. The night before, I went hatchet tossing for some sweethearts. Had such an effect. In her subtitle, she also mentioned how much she enjoyed nighttime, had a great time at a nearby hatchet tossing place here in Banner, an enjoyable evening spent with friends. I'm grateful for the few tips the crew provided, which helped me finally get a hatchet to stick. I must admit that I'm not very good at this yet, but we'll be back. The popular song Young Ladies Simply Need to Have a Good Time by Cindy Lauper was remixed for the video. At any rate, some admirers thought Janelle was subtly making an impression on her ex Cody with her message. One person joked in the comments, as long as you don't hit Cody in his kidney, who was inside that target? If I were you and threw that hatchet I can only image who it would be. I can picture two people. Another said in a humorous way, when you threw the hatchet did you see Cody's head? Asking for a friend, a third person laughed. Since announcing her separation with Cody last month, Janelle has been stepping outside of her comfort zone. As far as people are concerned, the affectionate care star has been showing off her newly slimmed body after losing a significant amount of weight. This well-being venture I've been on has been staggering, Janelle wrote in a post about her weight loss efforts using virtual entertainment at the beginning of 2023. I don't mind that the results weren't for the time being. Without a doubt, the gradual who wins the race is at the center of everything. The U.S. Sun was informed by a source last November that Janelle had lost an astounding 100 pounds and was now a fraction of her former dress size. The TV personality revealed her weight loss secrets, which included using Pilates to improve her mobility and lifting heavy weights in the gym. She has also been included more greens in her diet, such as jalapenos, which are known to improve digestion, increase fat intake, and reduce cravings. About the time she broke up with Cody, Janelle started to prioritize her own health. In the one-on-one, -on -one, Section 1 special that aired in December 2022, the sister spouse's star revealed that she was unmarried. The breakup occurred a year after Christine, her former sister spouse, 50, ended her marriage to Cody after more than 25 years of marriage. Cody just has one wife, Robin, after his most noteworthy wife, Mary, 52, also decided to leave the earthy-colored patriarch recently. Often referred to as the most loved spouse by the others, the 44-year-old was the last of Cody's partners to join the family. When the TV personality made a comment on her sister spouse's weight on last month's tell-all, fans acknowledged that she had revealed her true self. I knew and I saw when there are stretch imprints and there is weight gain, Robin stated in the last Plunk Down interview with Sakanya Krishnan. In addition, you're acting stale in your marriage and there are arguments, financial problems and other problems. With every one of them, he genuinely had this sentiment. I witnessed it. With each of them, he had something lovely. Like Janelle, Christine has also been focusing on her health ever since she left Cody and showed off her body of vengeance. Fans were incensed by Robin's comments which they took as a compliment to Cody for being sincere with his former wives despite their weight insecurity. One analyst wrote on Instagram, that not too far off lovely people we see slash saw the genuine Robin. Robin is praising Cody for sticking by his marriage in spite of stretch marks? Imprints from stretching his children no less. Wow this is disgusting, said another. Imprints of stretch? Another analyst wrote, go find a new line of work and quit destroying different ladies. Although the couples are separated, Cody recently celebrated his 54th birthday on his own initiative after receiving criticism from Robin and his ex-partners through online entertainment. Christine, 50, was seen smiling at the camera in the up-close photo. She was wearing spectacles, a cowhide coat, and her light hair was falling down. You might say I'm a visionary, but I'm by no means the only one. The Beatles envision hashtag leatherweather hashtag the Beatles hashtag loving this life hashtag happy and free hashtag imagine at the possibilities was the subtitle she used to highlight her optimistic attitude. As soon as possible, fans jumped to the remarks to praise the truth star's sparkling appearance. Never in my life have I been happier for an outsider. You go young woman. One person wrote, I'm so happy for you Christine. Another said, you radiate contentment and glitter. I'm thrilled for you, a third person said. You inspire me so much. That you are finally happy again makes me very happy. 
rang out a fourth time. Since splitting from polygamy and her 54-year-old ex-boyfriend, Cody Brown, in November 2021, Christine has started sharing more positive posts. Her new old flame, David Woolley, whom she recently introduced to her admirers, is also largely responsible for her more magnificent mindset. On Valentine's Day, she sent off her new boyfriend with a cute Instagram picture. I finally found David my first love. My spirit seemed to take its most unforgettable breath when he first held me close. He's awesome and kind unbelievable with my kids and a lovable granddad. I never envisioned I could find an adoration like this. The happy couple's most memorable Valentine's Day was the only thing the U.S. son looked into. A source said that David arrived to Christine's house to make plans for their evening out. The couple appeared at a local speakeasy pub a few hours after the event. According to the report, David opened the vehicle entryway for her. He showed bunches of valor and surprisingly set his hand on her lower back. Christine shared a video of herself and David moving and holding each other in a kitchen last week. Christine is showing off her enormous, magnificent smile in the clasp. I love having somebody to hit the dance floor with me in the kitchen. Last week she also posted a charming selfie, writing, I have found my first love, David. It felt like my spirit took its most unforgettable breath when he first held me close. He's a wonderful loving grandfather who is amazing with my children. I never envisioned I could find an affection like this. The prospect of Christine entering a loving and fulfilling relationship thrilled fans. One written under one of her many Instagram updates reads, I love that Christine can at last stoppage, unwind, and experience an ordinary life. Another person recently said, Do you all notice how she is sparkling? She never sparkled that way on sister spouses. Never. She was never that cheerful on sister spouses. Recently, the U.S. Sun reported on Christine's new partner and revealed that Margaret Lucille Sullian Woolley, David's significant other, passed away in June 2012. After getting married in November 1990, Margaret and David remained together until her death. They have eight children together. Along with having six children with her ex-husband, Cotty, Christine also moved into a $1 million Utah property with their youngest child, 12-year-old Truly.